let's do a taste test. Good morning, guys. This is Carol. How are you? I'm doing really good. My granddaughter is here with me today, so we're going to do my first ever taste test. Casey uh, went to Sam's, and she bought a box of candy pop popcorn. You're going to hold up those two? Okay. This is what was in the box. This one's uh, Snickers, Twix, and M&M's. I already tried Snickers. Taylor tried the M&M's. It says uh, made with uh, M&M mini candies. The bag is one serving for 150 calories. Oh. And Taylor, tell us what you thought. I thought it was the best because there was like five M&M's in the whole package. You only had five M&M's in the whole package? There was not very many M&M's at all. So I think it could have just been easier to just eat some popcorn. And it wasn't very salty either. I would have probably just preferred making me popcorn or just eating some M&M's. Very good. I think so too, actually. Toby wants us to play ball. That's why he's growling at us. He's not getting enough attention. I tried the Snickers. I'm with Taylor. This is not salty. You know, popcorn should be a little salty. Oh, there's his ball. I didn't know I had it. This is what a kernel looks like. I don't know where the camera is. So... Mine has Snickers on every piece. <laughs> They're good. But I normally don't eat cold popcorn, so maybe that's the problem. I don't like cold popcorn. You can really taste the Snickers in mine. But I'd rather have some hot salted popcorn. Me too. And chop up Snickers myself. I think that would work better. I have no idea how much these cost because Casey got them at Sam's. And she's gone to work, so I can't ask her. <laughs> but they were good. I would give them, out of ten, do you think an eight? Five. Taylor says a five. I think I'm going to say an eight because they're not bad. Now, the even ones, I just, I didn't really like them. And I... Love yeah, she loves M&M's and she didn't really like them. Really. Do you want to taste one of these and see what you think? I actually, am a, I don't like Snickers, so no. Okay. Well, that was our taste test for today. And this is Molly. <laughs> um, that hand was my granddaughter. And this fur ball down here is Toby. Um, several of you congratulated me on my four pound weight loss. I mean, four pounds is nothing. You know, but for my body, it is. My body holds on to every fat cell for death. It just holds on to every fat cell. I have a hard time losing weight. And what I did this time, I started March 1st. And um, my doctor told me I simply have to start eating breakfast. I, I have never eaten breakfast. I'm not ready for food when I first wake up. But... I made some rules for myself. Tell me, turn loose of him. He's pushing me over. I made some rules for myself. One is I have to eat a bowl of oatmeal every day for breakfast with a half a cup of blueberries in it. And tomorrow I'm going to make a video about blueberries and tell you what I learned about them. Okay, I have a bowl of oatmeal with half a cup of blueberries and one banana in it. You're in the video. I can be in the camera. Mom and Dad said it's fine. Um... I have to eat an apple every day. I like apples. I don't know why I don't normally eat them unless I make myself. I like apples, but anyway, I have to have a bowl of oatmeal, half a cup of blueberries, one banana, and then sometime during the day I have to have an apple. And then my big meal of the day is, is usually lunch. And so what I've done is I've been eating on a salad plate instead of a great big plate. And I made my plate half vegetables. And um, I'll go look in the freezer and get a bag of California vegetables. 
Okay. Can you go do that? Yeah. Um, whoops, sorry. <laughs> uh, like if I have a casserole, I'm trying to eat half of what I normally would because I'm a big eater. I'm big, a big, healthy, <laughs> sturdy woman because I like food. But I've made myself eat what I consider to be half of what I normally would of the main part of my meal and then half a plate of vegetables. And then um, at dinner, I just do portion control, whatever it is I'm having. Just try to eat a lot less. Try to eat twice as much vegetables as normal and a lot less of everything else. Okay. I really like these. Toby, he likes them too. I put this in his dog food. <laughs> this is California style veggie mix. Great value. Broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots. I'm having trouble with this, this video today. One cup is 30 calories. So, you know, that's pretty good. And I love these. You, I just put them in the microwave in the bag. I think it's eight minutes I warm the bag up for. And then um, Casey and I split the bag because this is four cups. So she has two cups of veggies and I have two cups of veggies. And then when I'm making dog food, this is what I put in them because they really love that. Okay, go put that in the freezer, please. <laughs> go put it in the freezer. Um, also, I haven't let myself eat after dark. So that's kind of controlling. I Because I like to snack at nighttime. I don't like to eat in the morning. From noon until midnight, I like to eat. But I haven't been letting myself eat after dark. And I've always drank a lot of... Uh, water. Actually, I drink hibiscus tea, but I make it very weak. I use five hibiscus tea bags to a gallon of water, so you know it's very weak. <laughs> um, and I drink a gallon a day, but I was ordering my hibiscus tea from Walmart. I chose the Lipton Berry Hibiscus Tea. I don't know if they've quit making it or what, Walmart doesn't have it anymore, not in the store, not online. I'm going to have to contact Lipton and see what's up. <laughs> I need my tea. So I've been drinking, um, Great Value has a strawberry hibiscus brand. It's not nearly as good, but I've been drinking that and I put lemon juice in it and then that works out pretty good. I really honestly believe drinking the hibiscus tea lowered my blood pressure because I, at one point my blood pressure was getting pretty high and my doctor told me I needed to get it down. She didn't want to prescribe medication yet to see what we could do with weight loss. <laughs> I don't lose weight easily. But that's when I, I researched and I found out hibiscus tea is helpful with high blood pressure. And my blood pressure... Uh, the next year when I went, after a year of drinking a gallon of hibiscus tea a day, went way down. That was the only change I made, so I'm going to assume that was it. Well, anyway, that's what I've done to lose weight this month. This is the 23rd? 20th. I don't even know what today is, but um, I started March 1st, and whatever today is, I'm still at 188, so I haven't gained back any of the four pounds, even though I had... Um, one and a half pieces of that molten lava cake, which was so good. And let me tell you, it made for... It is the 23rd. It's the 23rd, Taylor tells me. That recipe made four servings in the little ramekins. You could also do it in a muffin pan if you wanted to. Um, so that day, Becky and I had one. And then when Casey came home, she had one. That left one that Casey and I split the next day. I think it was even better the next day. I mean, it was just really delicious. It, we warmed it up. I didn't want to eat it cold. And, you know, popped it in the microwave. And that was really good. But anyway, I haven't told myself I can't have anything. Because I know once I do that, then I won't even try the diet anymore. So, th thus, I am having this. I'm not going to eat the whole thing. I just ate it like three or four kernels. 
I'm going to put a clippy on this bag and save it for when I think I have to have something chocolate, just have a couple of these. I'm not going to eat it all at one time. If it had been really, really good, I would have. But again, I, I don't like cold popcorn. I do not either. So, that's it. <laughs> that's it for today. Go get his ball so he won't bark. Oh, I have one other thing I wanted to tell you. Um... One sub commented about my swing. You know, I told you I got a, a new porch swing. It came yesterday. I'm waiting for my grandson to put it together for me. So he has two more weeks of um, welding class, and then he's done for this until next fall. So when he's done with school, because he goes all day long, he'll come put it together for me, and he works in the evening. But anyway... One sub said, a gentle swing is a perfect place to eat a piece of cake. Yes, it is. <laughs> it is. But, but my comment back to her was, my grandkids would think a gentle swing would be a perfect place to eat a popsicle on 100 degree days. And she replied back that they don't have 100 degree days. Well, I looked it up. This year, I definitely remember this summer. In 2011... That was the last year I planted a garden in the ground. Oh, I can't tell you how much money I spent. My kids and my two older grandkids. Um, Taylor was just a baby then. Uh, my two older grandkids and my kids helped me build raised box boxes to garden. I, I had read this book, uh, Square Foot Gardening. And so I was going to do that and I was going to grow all kinds of vegetables because it was going to be a piece of cake. I spent money buying wood to make these uh, boxes that ha they would have 12 one-foot squares in each box. And we got um, cattle panels. I, it's fencing. A cattle panel fencing is wire with great big squares. We got four of those and made an arch out of them like that. Then the, the bottom would be in one of my boxes and go over to the next one. And then I planted uh, baby watermelons, green beans, green beans, and something else that climbed. I don't remember what. Anyway, I, that's what I planted around, around them. Thinking 2011 was going to be my year to have a wonderful garden. Well, let me tell you what happened. <laughs> we always have 100 degree days, but not like 2011. That year, we had 50 days that were at 100 degrees or over. I couldn't find the highest temperature, but I think it was 115. Now, that was an exceptional year. We don't usually have 50 days of over 100 degree weather, but we always have like a couple of weeks over 100 degrees. Oh, you want me to show them this? This is another tea I've tried. It's Celestial Seasonings. <laughs> Toby, it is not for you. <laughs> Herbal Supplement Caffeine-Free Citrus Sunrise. This is pretty good. I drink it cold. But anyway. <laughs> now, back to today's professional video. <laughs> uh, yes, we have 100-degree weather here. <laughs> We are the coldest city in Texas, but we are not the hottest because that year in 2011, Laredo was way down south. They had 145 days at 100 or over. Wichita Falls is east of us about, I'm going to guess, halfway to Dallas. That year, they had 100 days of 100 degree weather, so... We're not the hottest place. We are the coldest. <laughs> but we have plenty of, of hot weather. So this summer, my grandkids will love eating popsicles out on that porch swing. I've had a porch swing for the last uh, 11 or 12 years. 11 years. And I, I just love a porch swing. That gentle movement really helps with my anxiety and calms me and everything. I had a three-seat swing that was on my balcony that you saw last year, if you watched any of my videos from last summer. 
It was just too big for the balcony. The balcony wasn't quite that big. The swing I bought is a two-seater, so it's not as long. I gave my other swing to my daughter. She has my two older grandsons, and she says they use it all the time. So it went to a good home. Um, my sister said I should have filmed that because my two grandsons are in college. How we got it off my second floor balcony is Casey and I lifted it up and pushed it over the balcony and they caught the, you know, we didn't turn loose of the legs until they got the bottom legs, but that's how we got it off the balcony. <laughs> well, I couldn't film it because my hands were busy. But anyway, um, not only was that swing too big for my balcony, but that apartment was just in a certain spot that the wind just came through in between the buildings horrible and it would bang that swing against the wall and everybody in my building could hear it you know that disturbed everybody but and mostly in the nighttime the wind would just blow like a hurricane and bang that swing against the wall so that's when I got rid of it when I realized it was disturbing everybody um but this one I think the the length of it is such that I can fit it um across my patio where the swing goes out away it's not against a wall that's what I'm trying to say it's where the swing will be on the open end so we'll see how that works okay I don't guess I know anything else today hope you're having a good day we are talk to you later bye bye